Okay, in, in this um, final example, we're just going to have a look at an alcohol. Now, I've, I've chose um, cyclohexanol because this is one of um, Robert Lancashire's um, molecules in there as well, which is a very good example, really, because you've got a nice aliphatic um, system, you've got a, a ring, and you've got the OH group, obviously. So we have a look at the obvious peak, which is the, the very broad... OH peaks there, and that's that's one. You know, most of you should be able to spot that in an infrared spectrum. A nice broad peak there usually denotes some hydrogen bonding is taking place, so you need an OH uh, really to contribute to that. And if you look at the uh, the vector, if you will, or the vibrational frequency for that, you can see a nice, very pure OH stretch. There's no other part of the molecule vibrating there. It's just the OH stretch. Okay. It requires quite a bit of energy, and that's why it's up there at uh, 3,000, and let's just get a peak, about 3,340 wave numbers. We move on to here, you can see this one's split into two, and this is where the CH stretches are, so let's have a look at this in a bit more detail. This here, at about, uh, what we got here, we've got 2,925. This is the symmetric stretch for the CHs. And if you look at this carbon here, you've got these two hydrogens on for the CH2 group. You can see it's a very, very pure CH stretch there. Okay. The one next to it here, slightly lower energy there, is the asymmetric stretch. It's not very obvious, but this one's going in and this one's coming out. So that's the CH2 with an asymmetric stretch. You notice a lot of the molecule is contributing to this as well in this vibrational frequency. Sometimes you get the whole ring moving together in unison and that's a, you know, an acceptable type of um, resonance frequency. If we look at this one here, this is where the whole ring is, is contributing. So when the, when the ring's happy to vibrate at a certain frequency, um, just like a a vibration of a string on a guitar really then it will be happy and it will resonate um, to its heart's content really so this nice vibration here you've got this um, axial proton vibrating up and down all the equatorial ones are vibrating in unison and that gives a nice sharp absorbance there. there's not much else to say about this um, particular molecule really just to look out for this OH stretch and also why we get some splitting really in the CHs and that's due to the symmetric and asymmetric um, stretching frequencies or vibrational modes. So that's it for now. Do, do have a look at the theoretical video on infrared spectroscopy and look out for a few more of these examples as well. So bye for now.